Hi, everybody. This is Bill Noble, and we are talking Gold Retriever, GLDN, and how it can go to $20. As of the time this video is recorded, <clears throat> it's roughly $1, and I'm going to tell you how it can go to $20. But first, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you need a roadmap in crypto, and you need to find what works for the next cycle, subscribe. Turn on alerts so you know when we're posting price prediction videos and smash the like button if you like price prediction videos or our daily live stream, The Market Update. <clears throat> okay, I am the director of research at a project called Gold Retriever. I get paid by the people who run this project. I heard about this project before I started working there, and I believe in it. So I own the token. I am like the, I'm in the top 30 holders. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a technical analysis based, analysis based price prediction on where this can go. This is technical analysis, not investment advice. Gold Retriever is a native token of a commodity ecosystem. Okay, this is the white paper. Please read it. With Gold Retriever, one of the best ways to understand it is it can be the price or the native token for buying BARC, ticker symbol B-A-R-C, which is a water token for price discovery and delivery of water. Why is that important? Well, People are going to need water. The state of Arizona is out of water in 2030. GLDN will be the pair token for Bark. So you cannot buy Bark with ETH or wrapped ETH. You're going to buy Bark or water with GLDN. For the fundamentals of GLDN and how it rewards you in auto staking with the PAX Gold token that is redeemable for physical gold, I would refer you back to the white paper. Let's go to TA on GLDN and check out what we see. GLDN started in September of last year around five cents and went on this huge trend up to $5. Now, when we examine that trend, we notice that that trend has a five wave structure. It goes one, that's an initial move up, two, a small correction, three, a vertical trend, four, a choppy consolidation that looks like a triangle, and five, a big buying climax, and that gives us wave one. Elliott wave was invented by a guy named Elliott who sat on a beach and watched waves and came up with this theory that is extremely powerful. And this is a textbook, textbook five-wave pattern, right? You have a small correction for the two-wave and a big correction for the four wave. Then, as is the case in crypto, what goes up can come back down on things like FTX and tax loss selling. Now, I would expect, or we would try to see if the correction fit the definition of an ABC. Old fashioned textbooks call it a zigzag. So here's one down move off the high, that's A. And then here's an attempt to go back up, that's B. And then here is the giant puke to C. Now, frequently, just as a little bit of educational trivia, sometimes the, the move from B to C can have a five-wave structure unto itself. C waves can be brutal. Okay, so we have one, two, right? Three, four, and five. Okay. Brutal tax loss selling, end of the world. Okay. And then it starts to recover. Now let's talk about the recovery and let's just start off by drawing some basic Fibonacci retracement lines. Okay. So why do you draw retracement lines? Well, something will go up and then it'll come back down and you want to see, you know, use Fibonacci math to see, Hey, where does this you know, where does it stop? Does it find support? Now, in the case of Gold Retriever, there's the 78% retracement, which is a default on DEX tools. And just as a reminder, this is a four-hour chart. 
So I'm expanding it a bit. And I noticed that, huh, there was this huge rounding bottom that occurred on massive tax loss selling and capitulation below the 78% retracement level, which is a dollar and a half. Now, as of the recording of this video on January 13th, GLDN is exploding back above the 78% retracement, which can be seen as a constructive development. The next destination and the all important level for GLDN is $1.95 because that is the famous 62% retracement that in crypto chart lore, okay, in crypto chart lore, the 62% retracement is the key level that if cryptos can get back above that retracement level, then the next uptrend can start or the coin is generally validated. How fast can GLDN get to the 62% retracement as of the recording of this video? That is unknown. But there are catalysts coming out for the BARC token because remember, you know, GLDN is the currency of water to, peep, to keep it simple. So if you have this rounding bottom and you're exploding through one resistance line, or actually you're exploding back above a support line, the next level might be $1.95. Now let's expand the analysis with a Fibonacci speed resistance fan line. And you're like, wow, what is that? Well, that is just a way to check, to check what kind of levels are above the market. What kind of levels are above the market? So it's a way to draw a resistance using diagonal lines. Now, when I connect the top here, with this low at 60 cents, okay, I see that Gold Retriever is just now breaking out above not only $1.12, but above this FIB speed line. So 62% at $1.95 is a level, $1.73 is important. And if GLDN really got you know, robust, the ultimate angle is probably, or the last angle is probably around three and a half. Interestingly, was the high uptick or close to the high uptick, right? That led to th this failure right here at $4 is what really started the vicious part of the decline. So $1.12, $1.95 and three and a half dollars are key levels. Now I'm going to take off the diagonal lines just for the sake of clarity. Okay. And I'm going to take off the retracement lines and I'm going to go to Fibonacci extension. Now, why do I do that? Well, let's just review. We had a five wave structure up. That's wave one. We had a corrective move down, which was brutal. That's wave two. And frequently, wave twos get people out. They either bore you to death or they just stop you out. And what happens is after the wave two stops you out, when everybody starts piling back in, you get this slow creeping up only move, which is starting to happen as of this, you know, as of this recording. And obviously, if you're watching this later, you know, it's to be determined. But let's pretend for a moment that wave three up comes, right? That there is going to be a wave three up because people are going to want water and giving them a mechanism to do so in an instrument that is connected to gold is an intriguing process. And I have seen this before in DeFi tokens one of them I remember was Uniswap. It was all the way up. They, they did a surprise airdrop. It went to $8. It crashed to two. And then it wound up at 15 by the time it was all said and done. All right. So what worked 
back in the heyday of Fed printing money and DeFi go, go, go crypto bull market, it was trend based fib extension. So instead of going up and then saying, okay, where do we fib retrace? Now we're going to say it went up initially. And where will it go when you do a fib extension? Okay. Now, when I draw this, I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to say, I want to look at the 38% extension, the 1.618 extension, and the ultimate one is the, you know, three extension. So in other words, if something goes parabolic or to the moon, as they say in crypto, where could it go? Where could GLDN go on this four-hour chart? Where could a three-wave take it? Like, where's the big three-wave? All right. Well, let's look at the levels. So the high of the one wave was five. And for the sake of this video, it's theoretical. I'm going to assume it's going to make a new high because you can't have a three wave without going above the one wave. So I would think the minimum target for a three wave would be 707, $7.07. .07. Now, the next two levels require a little bit of context. The next two levels on the FIB extension analysis, one of them is 40. And uh, I'm sorry, 20, sorry. The next, the top one is 20. And the one just below that is at 13. How would GLDN get from a dollar to $7 to $13 to $20? Well, how did it happen back in 2021 or 2020? People came in and even though the tokenomics, at least back in the DeFi day, were not perfect, they piled in because the value proposition of DeFi created a reward system that compelled people into these tokens, making them go parabolic. In this case, it's pretty simple. People who want water may not care what price they have to pay for GLDN because they can't get water and they can't get bark without buying GLDN. And you're like, well, Bill, that sounds like hyperbole. And I'm like, well, is it? Does anybody remember? I mean, I wasn't there for this, but does anybody remember when ETH came out in 2016 and people said, well, it has no use case? I mean, when ETH was at 4,000, did it really matter if you jumped in at 7, 13, or 20? If you told somebody that I bought ETH at 20, they'd be like, oh, wow, you're OG. So I'm not saying anything beyond 20 with Gold Retriever, but if Gold Retriever is the native token of a commodities universe led by water, just the way ETH was a native token of a DeFi and NFT universe, can't GLDN behave like every other altcoin, especially if it can make a new high? So 7, 13, and 20 are the levels to keep in mind. In the short term, you want to watch out for a slowly building market. Like people think parabolic moves, you know, they just happen. They don't. They start off slowly. Three waves start off slowly. And as you can see here in GLDN, you know, yeah, it's going up, but it's going up slowly, right? It's still taking out and unwinding all this tax loss selling. So it's like slowly, 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 and then it accelerates later. So conclusion, Gold Retriever technical analysis, not investment advice. If this becomes the native token of the commodity universe, upside targets can be three and a half, seven, 13, or 20. And I would guess the timing on the bigger upside targets would be August of 2023. And if not, then I would say right before the Bitcoin halving in 2024. July.
That's, that's it for today. That's the gold retriever price prediction. We'll see you next time.